Hello everyone, I'm Mauro from the Sandali Trading Company and today I'd like to continue along our voyage through our traceable coffees. In particular today I'd like to describe four micro lots that we have just received from uh, Guatemala, specifically from the Atitlan area. Now these micro lots here are produced or are uh, harvested in La Providencia Finca, the one that we are, I'll be discussing today we have called pomegranate due to its taste characteristics. Now, La Providencia is uh, situated in the Salola municipality at about 1,500-1,700 meters. The Atitlan Lake, of course, is a lake which is surrounded by very high mountains and volcanoes. So this gives the soil a very rich volcanic characteristic, which goes and enhances the taste of the coffees grown there. Rainfall ranges from 2,000 to 2,200 uh, millimeters a year, so we have abundant rains, and the um, coffee grown there is shade grown. Shade grown under the gravelly trees and avocado trees. Uh, the varietals used on this farm to produce these uh, uh, microlots range from Bourbon, Tipica, to Katura. The farm is fully ecologically sustainable, it is very friendly, and the crop year or the harvesting season goes from December to March. Of course, like many other coffees in Guatemala, this coffee here is a fully washed Arabica coffee. Okay, so here we have the pomegranate, our micro lot from uh, uh, Guatemala, Atitlan. Uh, as you can see, the selection is almost perfect like the others, very good selection, very good uh, cleansiness of the coffee as well. The screen size here is about 95% over screen 16 and about 36% over screen 18, so this is very good for this type of coffee here. Obviously the selection here translates into a very even uh, roast dark brown monk's tunic as we have said before and the development of the bean is very good with the classical familiar by now white cuts of the beans which denotes a high quality washed arabica okay so continuing our description of the pomegranate uh, micro lot from atitlan in guatemala uh, i can tell you that they've just presented me with the two cups that we are going to be tasting uh, first of all, let's just go and see what type of fragrances this coffee here has to offer. Uh, starting with the tall cup, which is the more intense one. And going on to the lower one. Okay, so what I can tell you is that it has a very, very nice, very uh, curious uh, fruit, fruit-like uh, fragrance with a little bit of spice. Definitely does build that curiosity for the coffee. Uh, let's just go and sugar this coffee. So, getting our, our sugar, as usual, we'll go and sugar the lower cup, uh, which will give us a better idea of what the coffee is like. With the sugar test, I can tell you straight away that the nice golden brown crema that we have here, nice and thick, nice and well textured, uh, supports the sugar pretty well. The sugar is uplifted by the, uh, by the crema, which means that the quality of the crema is good. Um, as usual, when uh, we go and cup, we go and uh, start with the unsugared cup, which is a tall one. And this will give us a rough idea of the coffee. First thing I can tell you is that it has a very nice mouth. Very nice mouthfeel, definite uh, body, very well structured. The final judgment with the uh, sugar cup, I can tell you immediately that it has a nice mouthfeel. It has a very interesting acidity, a sweet acidity. So we're talking about an acidity which uh, definitely resembles tangerine or uh, resembles, as the name uh, suggests, um, pomegranate, which um, gives you a rich flavor, rich fruit flavor, which flows into a um, aroma of figs, of plums, something a little bit more subdued, a little bit less acidic. Uh, as far as the aftertaste is concerned, I would say that this definitely gives you 
an aftertaste which resembles cocoa. Cocoa comes out. And uh, orange blossom honey. Orange blossom honey definitely comes out and adds to the sweetness. A very interesting cup indeed. Try it.